Hey guys, it's Emily. So today I'm going to film a video related to leaving cert um, because obviously I know a lot of people will be going back to school soon and even if you um, aren't doing the leaving cert this year, maybe in a couple of years, hopefully you'll remember some of the tips I'm going to tell you in this and it will be helpful for you. The first thing is that it's not as bad as everyone says it is. I think it's very hyped up, it's very over dramatised and people just build it up by talking about it in this negative light and they just make it into this big thing when it's not actually that big and actually when I was sitting my first or second leaving cert exam I kind of had an anti-climax because I was sitting there and I was like this is it like not that I wanted it to be worse but I had built up this image in my head of what the leaving cert was like and I was sitting there doing my exam and after the first one I was like wow this is the actual leaving cert and I'm doing it and it's not as bad as everyone says it is. Second point to keep in mind is that the year goes past so fast, like that rhymed but anyway, um, like you just don't know where the months go to and before you know it you're doing the pre-mocks and then you're doing the mocks and then you're doing the real thing and then before you know it it's summer and you're waiting for your results or it even is the date of your results and you're like what like at the time it seems like the year is never gonna end but actually it was the quickest year of my life number three is that despite it being an exam year it is a very fun year um there's a lot of nights out like if you have like a pre-debs or you know after your pre-mocks you go on a night out or you go on you know there's the graduation and then there's you go out after you do the leave insert you go out a lot during the summer and a lot of people will probably be turning 18 as well so there is a good few nights out and it is, is actually a fun year and um, if you're involved in the Debs committee or you're on the yearbook or, it's not all study and hard work during sixth year five is that people on average do better in the leaving set compared to the mocks and I know when I did my mocks I failed physics and I was like right that's it I'm gonna fail physics in the real thing like but the mocks is not a reflection of what you're gonna do in the real thing it's probably um, it's probably a motivator to make you do better in the real thing like you know if you I did bad in physics as I just said and it really motivated me to work hard from April whenever the mocks were to no, do you know, February, March, February. It motivated me to work really hard um, so that I would do better in the real thing. And I read somewhere that on average people go up by 70 points from the mocks to the real thing. Um, so people need to keep that in mind when it comes around to the mock time. Number six is that the Lima set is not the end of the world. Like people, like I said in my first point, people hype it up and they make it into this big, huge thing. But it's not the end of the world. If you're the type of person that exams aren't suited for you and you don't do that well in the exams, like there is other options and it's not the it's not it's not gonna ruin your life if you don't do well. Like some people don't suit suit exams and that is fine. Point seven, that CAO, like the application for college, you have to put it in order of preference, not points, and the amount of people I know that put it in time of points in order of points not preference and then they didn't realize that and it was too late to change it so like for example i wanted psychology um but i wanted it in dcu over trinity and psychology in trinity was like 565 but psychology in dcu was 515 i think yeah um and I think some people automatically think that they have to put the highest ones first so they would have put the Trinity one at the number one and then DCU second but I got this explained um, by someone to me but you put it in order of preference so I wanted DCU more than Trinity so I put DCU first over Trinity like even though the points were lower because it's what I wanted. My next point is that it's your leaving cert not anybody else's so that kind of goes for a bit of everything like when you're choosing con when you're choosing what you want to do um pick what you want to do don't listen to anybody else don't 
pick a course just because you think your parents want you to do that or your friends are going to a college and you want to stay with them um, because if you are really good friends with them you'll stay friends with them no matter what college you go to. The next one is that balance is key. Um, so of course you have to study a good bit in, during the leaving cert but um, taking breaks is very important. Um, what I used to do was I do, I'm trying to remember now, I think I did slots of half half an hour study so I do half an hour French, half an hour maths but I take a break every hour for five or ten minutes and so you need to balance study with rest and you also need to keep a balance between sports and social life and family and activities like you can't give up your whole life just to study um, so you need to get out and get some fresh air as well and yeah obviously you don't go out every weekend and go on a mad one but you can have the odd at night out there now and again because you need to keep a positive frame of mind uh, you need to look after your mental health and balance is key point nine frame of mind is everything if you approach the leaving cert with oh, I have to do so much study and a kind of negative frame of mind then it's going to reflect on everything else like it's going to shape everything else um, and also I found this with subjects like I hated physics and I kind of vocalized that. I was like I hate physics and then when I was in physics class I'd like dread every single second of it and I hated doing the homework and I hated studying for it but if you think I don't hate physics or whatever subject you don't like don't think of it with such a strong view think of it like physics isn't my favorite you know you need to kind of change your view on it and I think this helps a lot <coughs> sorry my voice is going I don't know why um, yeah but frame of mind is like this doesn't just apply for the leaving cert, this applies for everything like your frame of mind totally determines the outcome. Last point is everything happens for a reason and this is to do with kind of the whole leaving cert in general. If you come to the pre-marks and you didn't get the results that you wanted well then it happened because it need, because perhaps it was meant to motivate you to do more study or to find a new way to study or to just change your maybe you're doing something wrong in terms of study and the results prompted you to alter it which makes you do better in the mocks and even if you do the leaving cert and the exams don't go your way and you don't get the results you want and you don't get the college course that you want like everything happens for a reason and maybe you're not meant to go to that college because maybe you're meant to go to another college because the person you're meant to marry is from that college so you, that's how you bump into that person so yeah i hope you liked this video if you want any more leaving cert related videos then give this video a thumbs up um and let me know in the comments below if you want um maybe a video on how to survive first year of college or kind of any college related videos then also let me know and I will see you guys next time. Bye!